that we can say to show, to indicate understanding. Okay, now there are times when we don't understand. So we call this indicating the lack of understanding. What is lack? What is the lack of something? No. Similar to non? Absent. Huh? Absent. Absent, right. So missing, absent. So when we don't have, we're missing the understanding. When we don't have the understanding, here are some of the things we can say. Um, Adele, can you do that for me? What are some other things that you might say when you don't understand? It's not clear. It's not clear. Or that's confusing. What else? Jesse, what else? I don't get it. I don't get it. Right. Um, let me show you for our next activity. We're going to, you were saying earlier that we're going to explain to our partners some of the IQ questions, right? Intelligence questions. Okay, so for example, if I'm talking with Jesse or you guys in class, right, for this math problem, I, I will explain to you how to do this. And while I'm explaining, I will check to see if you understand, right? So I can say first. First, you add five and two, and you get seven. Then you subtract three from seven. Do you get it? Yes. Yes, yes. okay. And I say then, I multiply, well, what's the answer? 24. Do you see what I mean? So I ask and you respond. And then I make sure. Or actually, Jesse, could you read us the directions? In the rituals test, often contain items like the ones below. Solve the problems individually, then explain to a partner how to figure out the answer. Use the expressions to check for understanding. Write down the expression list. Got it. Okay, so if you look at. The PowerPoint. First, you're going to take two or three minutes to solve these three questions. You're going to have three minutes to kind of solve these questions. And then you're going to turn to your partner or your group. And you will take turns explaining how you solve the problem. And when you're explaining it, make sure that you check for understanding and your listener responds by using the statements like these, okay? Lastly, when you're listening, write down what your partner said, okay? So what questions did your partner ask when he's checking for understanding? And when you're the speaker, what your partner said to confirm that they understand or don't understand. Is that clear? Question? Yeah? No?
for this. <laughs> uh, am I am I clear? No. Yeah. Am I clear? Yeah. 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 I, I, I didn't get the cross one. I got he it. He didn't get the cross one, he said. Huh? Say it again. I didn't, I didn't get the cross one. So. Oh, the, the cross one. The cross one, one. Yeah. is possible if you think mm -hmm. of down. Thank you very much, Rafa. 9 means 1, 16, uh, 17. And 16 plus 17. You got it? <laughs> what? I clapped. Yes. Is it clear for you? Is it clear for you? Yes. That is amazing. You got it? You did this as well? Am I making myself clear? Yes. <laughs> Did you see what I mean? Good, excellent. Thank you, volunteers, for <laughs> explaining all that. I don't think I, I could have finished it <laughs> if I didn't see the answer. So that was really good. Now that we are, we've had some practice with these sentences, and you guys did a really good job doing that, um, you're going to have to explain a game that you know to your partner. So one, you need to think of a game that you know. It could be anything. It could be how to play solitaire, or maybe a special game that your partner does. Think of a game you know, think about it, explain it to your partner, and then make sure you check for understanding using these sentences and expressions, and your partner will respond, okay, saying, yes, I get it, or no, can you explain that? And the listener will try to take some notes on the game you're explaining, and at the end of the class, or, I mean, end of this activity, I'm gonna ask maybe one or two students to come up and share what you learned from your partner. So you will explain what your partner's game is, not your own. So you need to pay close attention to what they say. All right, let me show you what I would do. So let's say Vina is my partner, and I'm teaching her how to play tic-tac-toe. Does anybody know? Anybody not know yeah, this game? Yeah, probably. <laughs> okay, so this is what I would say, okay? There are two players, and okay, one player is the circle, one of the other players, the X. You draw a grid, okay, and two players take turns marking down the X and the zero, or the O. Does that make sense? Okay, no, yeah? No, no, no. Yeah, and the goal of the game is to make th like three of the same symbol in a row. Is that clear? Does that make sense? So you'll have about 10 minutes to maybe five minutes for each partner, and then we'll take five minutes to share with the class. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, 